Um, we will have... Uh, shit, look at all these cool buildings. Oh, you know what we haven't done yet? That's what I was thinking of. We have not done the regular buildings yet. This building, for instance, this building. We haven't even researched half of these buildings. So let's get to work on these. There's the shish kebab food stand. Black Rhinoceros 2 has given birth. Endangered animal birth certificate. Holy shit. Dude, we're blowing it away. We're blowing it away this fucking session. Good God. Um... So, let's begin researching all of that malarkey. Coffee, sure, if the guests are so fucking thirsty, um, they can walk on over to the uh, coffee stand, and um, one of our many talented schmooze uh, will be able um, to take a, uh, a nice uh, French press full of the freshest brown, the, f the freshest gr brown grounds, and um, they'll be like, hey, how thirsty are you? And the guests will be like, I'm so thirsty, give me that coffee. And the shmoo will be like, so you want me to give you this coffee, huh? And the guest will be like, yes, give me that coffee. And then the shmoo will go, all right, here's your coffee. And then he'll just like splash the boiling, scalding hot coffee onto the person's face. And the person will just like start screaming and clawing at their face as, there's, as their like skin is blistering and peeling off and shit. And the, uh, and, and the guest will, like, run away, and then the shmoo, and, like, the camera will slowly zoom in on the shmoo, and the zoo, the shmoo will, like, shrug and shake his head and smile, and the audience will just be like, ha 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 and they'll applaud, and it'll fade to black. Oh, my God, I cannot fucking wait for that to happen. Um, I want that to be a reality. Um, of course, not until the coffee um, thing is uh, done. Man, I wish I could constrain the buildings to just normal buildings. All I want are normal buildings. I wish I had more... Oh, there's the coffee stand. Okay, perfect. Um, which one was it again? <laughs> I lost track. The research for shish kebab food stand is now complete. Compost building, animal photo booth, hot damn. Hot damn, we are getting so much stuff researched. Uh, you know, I would feel... Oh, God. No, I'm going to do it. I'm feeling kind of weird. Here, okay, look. Here's my problem. Here's my problem. I'm feeling kind of weird having, like, a bunch of restaurants and shit, like, right outside a restaurant. You know what I mean? Maybe instead of, um, maybe instead of, we can, this can be like a really big fucking promenade. I mean, this is Main Street, USA, after all. Perhaps we should, um, just beautify by the, uh, family restaurant. And we can have, um, little stands over, what is that? Oh, that's a fucking rock. I, d I, th I didn't know what that was. I was about to, I was about to flip my wig in a big way. Um, so let's do that. Let's, um, uh, extend the, extend, let's extend the brick path out a little bit more. And, uh, we will create another little, uh, promenade down here. Let's see here. Man, and you know, I wish there was, like, a, um, paint fill. I wish there was a paint fill tool for these paths. I don't like having to, uh, having to do this. This is very tedious and annoying. And I don't like it. But I wonder how many people... Oh, man, I mean, like, I don't know what else you would do to create, like, floors, except for this. You know, you, you can't have everything just, like, on grass. That would look like shit. I'm trying to think now on when I was a kid if that's what I did or not. If I, um, if I just put everything on grass or if I did that, if I had everything on a path. If I had everything on a path. I was a pretty smart kid. What the fuck is this gift shop? Ooh, wowza, meowza. Um, all in good time, all in good time. The guests are thirsty, and of course, that cannot wait. Um, so, we can have, uh, which way should we have it oriented? Um, you know what I like? We'll have it oriented this way. We'll have it facing this way. Um, so, let us get some regular buildings. Um, there is a tip-top soda pop shop right there. Um, not too close to the benches, because we don't want to, um, irritate, or in fact, even, oh, of course, I put that in the wrong place, and I cannot pick it up, I have to sell it. One tip-top soda pop shop, um, not too close to where the, uh, the moms and the dads will be sitting, um, as they are, uh, talking among, amongst themselves as their children cry and scream in abject horror. Um, 
We do not want the schmooze. We want the schmooze to be completely, entirely focused on the task at hand. We cannot afford any loss of productivity from the schmooze um, listening, paying attention to the uh, petty gossip of the of the mamas and the papas, uh, of the mamas and the papas sitting on the benches as their children are screaming. Um, do we have any other regular buildings? No, actually. Holy shit, did I just instinctively make it like the exact correct dimensions? Um, I think I must have. Yeah, there's it's Tip Top Soda Pop Shop right there. Um, these are all jungle. That's safari. Uh, yeah, we've got sushi, right? Salad, sushi. Yeah, we've got everything. All right, cool. Um, let's get some umbrella tables. Man, oh man, you know what? I'm when we get that fourth star, I'm really excited for the uh, possibility of having um, the flamingos come back. But also, I am very excited about all of the new. Um, all of the new scenery we'll get because you know what I, it's a toss-up as to what my favorite part of the game is because I love you know I love the animals I love designing the exhibits but at the same time I fucking love the shit out of uh, designing these promenades I love designing these little areas for people to sit and hang out it's so much fun for me um, I just love making everything look really pretty and nice um, so let's keep doing that here we go Main Street USA is, is moving right along, footloose and fancy free. Oh, and this one we're gonna have them staggered, yes. Holy fucking shit. All right, yes, and um, if the guests complain one more time about not having any place to um, sit and eat, I will officially flip my wig. Um, my powdered wig uh, will, I will get so mad that steam will start shooting out of the individual pores on my scalp and the force of that steam will make my powdered wig fly off of the top of my head and like spin around about three or four times in the air and just like send powder, wig powder and dandruff and lice just flying fucking all over my room, um, which will then slowly settle on my cat, Henry. And um, Henry will, uh, eventually Henry will, uh, oh, the Prince of Persia has laid an egg. Oh yeah, I forgot that some of them get pregnant and some of them uh, <laughs> lay an egg. I mean, I knew, but I just kind of, I just kind of forgot that that's that that's in the game, that the game incorporates that because it is true. Oh, oh four star! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Couldn't have come at a better time. Could not have come at a better time. Here we are. We're building Main Street USA as we speak. We have new objects available for purchase. Um, I don't see them so far. Uh, are they any? Are there any new buildings? Am I gonna have to like refresh the screen? Oh, fancy restaurant. Oh, restaurant. Oh my God. Oh yes. Oh yes. Anything else? Anything else? I'm aware that they are not currently researching reptile house. Holy shit. I'm aware that I am paused and they are not currently being researched. Please, please do not think that, um, although, you know, at this point, if you guys have stuck with me through all of this, I think you would know by now that I am pretty quick on the uptake, and it takes a lot for me to, um, to, to be unable to notice something. Oh, look at these stone walls. We can have our very own concrete fence. Oh my god, wooden slat fence, sure, why the fuck not, I don't fucking care. Um, beautiful, we don't have any new paths, but the animals. Here comes the big reveal, here comes the big reveal. If there are flamingos in that animal menu, I am stopping everything right now, and I am putting everything in full flamingo mode. No. There are no fucking flamingos. I'm never gonna see those fucking flamingos again. They're gone forever. Grizzly bear. That's a see now. That's what I call a boring animal. You know, like I live. I live in the west. I live in the northwestern hemisphere. Grizzly bears. You know, when you, you, you when you go out jogging at night, you can see a fucking grizzly bear. I don't. 
I don't want to have a grizzly bear. I want to have a cool animal. Now, beavers, granted, it's the same It's the same deal. And in fact, even, I, I very recently found out that there's um, beavers that live where I live, which I, I didn't think, I didn't think, I didn't, I didn't think to, or I didn't used to think that. I thought that beavers only lived, like, up in fucking, in fucking Canada or Nova Scotia or the fucking North Pole or whatever. I didn't fucking know that they lived where I live, which is pretty spectacular, pretty spectacular. Oh, and of course, even, um, we, we, we have beavers. We don't have that many beavers, but, um, the main thing that we have are we have nutria. We have nutria, which are actually an invasive species. Um, they are not the best. They were brought here, if I remember correctly, they were brought to, um, my part of the world, um, by this, by this, like, a uh, millionaire guy, by this millionaire that, like, um, had a, like, he had, like, a mansion and he had, like, an artificial pond outside of his mansion. And so he decided that he wanted to stock his pond with nutria because for some reason the guy was, was fucking obsessed with nutria. Or something, and nutrias are like are like the beavers of the south. Nutrias are like the are like the beavers of the of the Gulf Coast region, and especially in Louisiana where I used to live. And uh, nutria are fucking all over the place, and they cause a lot of problems because they build dams and they like gunk up, or they like gunk up um, human built dams with their shitty inferior nature dams, which is like where the fuck do they get off? Um, and plus they, they have like really weird orange teeth, if I remember correctly. They're, they're just, they're just a menace. They're an absolute fucking menace. But these beavers, they're clean, they're American, I love them. And they live in wetlands. Whoa, I was not expecting that. I was expecting temperate forest. So while there's no flamingos, I am excited about installing some beavers. And in fact, I'm absolutely positive that the second that I unpause this, um, like, every single one of the penguins down there is going to take five dumps simultaneously and, like, cut us back down to, like, two fucking stars. Um, so we will have, we will install the beavers now, um, before they have a chance to escape. So here we go. Let's install some beavers. And, um, I kind of want to have a cool, immersive beaver i'm kind of imagining like a surround sound beaver exhibit so what let's do is let's oh uh, god how do i want how do i want to do this maybe i don't want a surround sound one maybe i'll just have a regular traditional beaver exhibit and you know what we'll have it at this crossroads here we'll have it at this crossroads so let's pull up the beaver all right beaver beaver here we go Ten thousand dollars. Why is it fucking ten thousand dollars to get a beaver? Holy fucking shit Beavers live in Florida. I had no fucking idea, but why are beavers ten thousand dollars? They're just they just fucking run all over the place They're another one of those animals that you can see when you go jogging at night, whatever What the fuck ever? Um, can we do the post rope fence? I really enjoy that post rope fence. Hell yeah, we can um, Or do we want to do a fence uh, that we've never done before? Oh, low concrete fence. Do I, I, the concrete fences, what are they? They're 110, how much is a post rope fence? Oh, 50, yeah, how much is this? 75, how much is this, 50? 50, 50, okay, looks like 50 is as, this is as low as it goes, so. Um, look out, Kimsbach, you're getting a new neighbor, and it is the American beaver. Although I don't think there are any other, kinds of beavers beside American beavers. Oh god, I keep burping. And um, of course, it just wouldn't be Zoo Tycoon uh, without there being a fence that does not curve placed on a path that does curve. Oh god, I keep burping. Oh, I, and, and you know what? I, I don't think I mentioned it yet. The beverage due session is, um, I think for the first time um, since I've played Zoo Tycoon 2, yeah, for the first time since I played Zoo Tycoon 2 is uh, store brand Diet Coke. Way to go. Mm. So to celebrate our beaver, our new beaver installation, I take a hearty swig. Oh, God, I keep hiccuping. I take a mighty swig of my store brand Diet Coke. Okay. All right. You know what? I'll, I'll, I'm going to hold my breath until these hiccups go away. I'll be back. All right, okay, I'm back. 
I'm pretty sure I'm back. I am really, um, wait a minute. It can curve? What the fuck? I'm really bad at, um, if I get, like, really excited about something, or if I'm just, like, paying really, even if I'm not talking, if I'm just, like, paying really, really close attention to something, sometimes I legitimately forget to breathe. <laughs> I, like, legitimately forget to breathe, and, um, as a result, I give myself the hiccups for, like, no good fucking reason at all. Um, and, and I think it was because, um, this time, I think it was because I got so excited about the, the, uh, fancy restaurant that, that we could build. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. When I was doing it over there, it looked like it was curving, but it, it's not really. It's just an illusion. It's, it's an illusion. It's but an illusion, but, but that's okay. We're gonna have a big fucking beaver exhibit because, you know, we've got a big fucking zoo over here, and, um, it's about time. It's about time we have a real big, a big serious, a big man exhibit. A big fucking man exhibit. Oh, oh shit. Do I want... Oh, I thought that was like some kind of a chicken. I thought that guy was like a chicken or something. I was about to flip my wig. I was like, I didn't even know we had chickens and they're breaking out of their fucking enclosures. Um, no, we'll, we'll just have a big standard rectangular beaver installation right here. Perfect. Oh man, people are gonna go nuts for my beavers. Um, and uh, we will adopt the beavers now because I am certain that the second I unpause, uh, like the, um, all of the guests will like simultaneously get killed in some kind of an industrial accident. That was directly my fault. And, uh, our popularity will drop to like negative one stars. Like I owe the universe one star. Um, and the beavers will of course be gone because who would ever, who would ever give beavers, who would ever give custody of these beautiful noble beavers, um, to a monster, a monster like me. Um, who is so tremendously irresponsible. Um, bog. Bog versus swamp. Versus grass versus grass and dirt. Bog? Does this mean that I'll get little plants? Yeah, I get little plants. Um, guests love your zoo. Hell yeah, they love my zoo. Damn, I mean, you're looking at Mr. Four Star over here. I'm Four, st four Star Frankie. Four Star Frankie, that is my new name. Um, please, God, please, I'm begging you. I am absolutely fucking begging you. In your comments from now on, um, if you have any tips or tricks for me, please, please do me the favor of referring to me as Four Star Frankie. Um, from here on out, please, it would, it would make my day. It was, it would absolutely fucking make my day if from here on out, um, for the, for the remainder of this playthrough, um, in the comments section, uh, you referred to me as, um, Four Star Frankie. Uh, I will, of course, be, um, as soon as I'm done with this quickie session, I will be texting my friends and, um, informing them that I will be legally changing my name to Four Star Frankie, and, uh, and I will also be, um, contacting my boss, uh, at, I will be contacting my two bosses at my two different jobs, and um, I will be uh, requesting a change of name form um, so that my boss is... You like that? You enjoyed me getting rid of that stuff? Is it because you only want... Is it because you only want stuff from America? I thought that stuff was from America. This beaver is grunting. I didn't know beavers grunted. What the fuck? Um, but yes, I will be. I will be letting my various employers know Zookeeper can't reach the rhinoceros poop. Why? Why is this happening? You know what? You know what I'm gonna fucking do? You know what I'm gonna fucking do right now? Is I'm going to add a second staff gate. Yes, I'm going to add a second fucking staff gate. Here comes the asphalt path. I'm gonna bring it around. I'm gonna bring it around. And you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna add a staff gate. Is it because... Is it because the staff gate is on like the opposite side of the food troughs that like they'll they'll try and go the quickest they'll try and go the most direct route even though most of the time the even though the, the most direct route is is like straight through a metal fence, you know what I mean? Does that make any sense? Is that what they do? They try and go the fastest route 
And even though there is a staff gate there, even though they do have a way of getting in there, because the staff gate is not by the most direct route, they just don't bother? Because if that's the case, I'm gonna f put a fucking staff gate on every fucking wall of this fucking thing. Can't reach the small poop, huh? Is that what's going on? I'm gonna do it. What do I have to fucking lose? There, look. Look, staff gates for everyone. Look at that, holy fucking shit. Why are my stars twinkling? Am I gonna lose my fourth star? Look at that. How about you go inside now? How about you do your fucking jobs? You dumb... Where are you, where are you going? Why are you running away from the small poop? Peacock bitch, going to give an animal water. Is it the beavers? Oh, yes, I see. Okay, here, here, peacock bitch. Look, 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 I'm putting some gates right now. Look, there's a gate. There's a gate, peacock bitch. Please, peacock bitch, turn around. Please, peacock bitch. Going to sit on bench. No, unacceptable. There. Going to fill a food dish. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> peacock bitch. Good God. You know what? That's what I'm going to fucking do. And, and I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm really upset at how inefficient these zookeepers are. Good God almighty, look at how many people are lining up to see our two beavers. I cannot, I personally cannot wait to have an entire fucking beaver empire. Good, great googly moogly. Great googly moogly, I'm gonna have so many fucking beavers. I have so much room for these beavers to frolic. Um, so, let's, um, before we do anything else, let's actually um, give them some water because the beavers are, are rapidly becoming unhappy because they have no privacy. But before I put any of that malarkey in, I want to make sure that they have uh, all of their water needs met because I... Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Um, let's uh, grass and dirt. Let's fill that back in. That's uh, a little too close to the fence there. I want to make sure that the zookeepers are all able to... Um, transport themselves efficiently um, throughout Beaver Village, Beaver, Beaver Bend, Beaver, Beaver, uh, Beaver, the Beaver Burrow, um, and that of course is burrow, like B-U-R-R-O-U-G-H, because beavers do not burrow in the ground, of course, um, they burrow in the water, uh, aka they build dams.